Good morning, explorers. It's so great that we're back together again, and it's a great day to be creative. Now, this book is called Snippets. It's a story about paper shapes. It's written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Now, boys and girls, you already heard one of Diane Elber's books before. We talked about, I'm not just a scribble. You watched a little video about it on a previous slide. I don't know if you remember that, but you did. I'm not just a scribble. Now, Diane Albert is an awesome new writer and illustrator. She is from, actually, she's from Arizona. She's from Chandler, Arizona, and she went to school to get an art degree, and now she writes and illustrates children's books. And a lot of her books have stories about feelings and just being thoughtful of other people's feelings. So her books always have a special story behind them, not just about art. So today I am going to read you snippets and then you are going to get out some paper and scissors and cut, 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 because cutting paper is so fun and again it's very relaxing and it's fun because then you can make different things out of the paper shapes that you have cut so let's dive into this story and see what kind of message Diane Albert is sending us today so snippets. This is one of my brand new books. And it is dedicated to my children, Ryan and Anna, who can change the world one snippet of kindness at a time. This is a story about a strange little place where two shapes of paper filled up the whole space. Triangles and squares would all wait in line to make a home in the same pattern design. Each house like the other, all so mundane. Not a chimney, a shingle, or long window pane. Then one afternoon, after new shapes were made, a snippet showed to in an aqua blue shade. But because snippet had an oddly shaped top, he looked a bit different from a normal rooftop. He was very shy, but he wanted to play. So he asked the shapes, what are you making today? We make sturdy houses, announced the red square. Asymmetrical shapes belong right over there. Because we are different, it's best we're divided. We just can't risk having our houses lopsided. Hmm. Snippet wasn't expecting to be asked to leave 
and was shocked that the square was being naive. He could build a strong house and be part of a pair, even though he was not like a regular square. Not wanting to argue, he walked over to the pile and noticed each shape had a distinctive style. They were all snippets. They were all just like him. Some sides were long. Some shapes were slim. He was so excited by such a surprise. There were so many shapes of irregular size. Come on, they all said. Jump into the pile. So Snippet dove in with a bright, gleaming smile. Even though Snippet really loved the new place, he just couldn't forget that strange, tidy place. Deep down in his heart, being divided felt wrong. He just wanted to see all the shapes get along. As he stood thinking, an idea came to mind. What if he went back and tried to be kind? To that misguided square with the perfect physique, he could show him the beauty of being unique. When Snippet arrived, Square started to grumble. Why are you back? You'll make our houses crumble. This was Snippet's big chance to make Square truly see all the wonderful things they could possibly be. Snippet pointed to the roof's acute angle and said, I could make a tall chimney on that green triangle. Snippet saw Square start to fill up with doubt and knew it'd be best to act it all out. So he climbed on the triangle and said, How's this look? Square watched carefully, but the house never shook. It's not falling down, and it doesn't look bad. In fact, it looks great. So what else can we add? Actually, said Stippet, we could add some more. There's a rectangle snippet for a fancy front door. Is it okay if I ask the pile to play too? Square happily agreed, only expecting a few. But the whole pile showed up to come over and play. And to Square's huge surprise, they had such a fun day. The house they made had never looked so grand. It was just a wonderful, it was just as wonderful as Snippet had planned. Squares, triangles, and Snippets all getting along. They'd made a great place where they all could belong.
long rectangles made houses that reached up so high a pentagon shaped rocket could fly in the sky a right triangle made a red sail on a ship it was amazing to see such close partnership they all learned so much from each other that day that regardless of shape they could happily play and to think it was one snippet's kind heart that joined them together to make such great art oh the end you can change the world one snippet of kindness at a time. Now look at all these great houses. All right, boys and girls, I want you to go to your art packet and I want you to find your orange and light green paper. They should be nine by 12. Go and get your scissors and your glue stick. And I'll see you back here in just a minute. And we're going to make some snippets. Okay, boys and girls, it's a great day to make some art. I would like you to use your green, your light green paper as the background. Now you can turn your paper horizontal, which means it's the long way, it's sleepy, or you could wake that paper up and have it be vertical. I think today I'm going to make mine horizontal. And now with my orange paper, I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half one more time. All right. You can use your pencil if you want, or you can just cut your paper. Now, in the corner here, I'm going to make two lines. Look at a horizontal line, a corner, and a vertical line. Remember where they join, it's a corner. And then with my scissors, I'm going to cut all four of those at the same time. This might remind you a little bit of the cat collage. Remember when we made the cat collage, we put our paper together and then we cut. All right, now one more time. Okay, I drew a triangle on top, and now I'm going to cut that triangle. Oh, now I have some rooftops. Okay. Now, I will glue these down when I'm done. Now, boys and girls, you have some more paper here. You can open it up. You can start snipping away. I want you to add some details with this paper. Now, I know it's the same color. If you want to just go get a piece of white paper, you can definitely do that. Now, Maybe I want to make a little snippet like this. Oh. That could be a chimney. I could even trim it down a little bit if I wanted to. Make it a little smaller. Yeah, so maybe my houses all have a chimney. 
you can take your paper, you can maybe you want to make some windows or doors. Now I know we are using one color and remember that is called monochromatic. That is called monochromatic. And that's okay. You might want to take your paper and make some cloud shapes. Clouds, remember, are organic shapes. They are organic shapes. You could also make a sun up in the sky. So boys and girls, I want you to have fun with these snippets and I want you to cut, cut, cut. And you might even notice I have all these little snippets. Ooh, maybe I could find a use for those. You never know, you can put them together and oh look at that one kind of looks like a bird flying through the sky that's cool so i want you to have fun glue all of your snippets down and then you can take your markers if you want and you could add little details to your windows. You can add details to your door. Maybe your door has a door handle. Maybe you want to add shingles to your roof. Maybe you want to give your son, maybe your son is a warm sun and it's just happy to be up in the sky today, warming your snippet neighborhood. All right. Now, I want to see your creativity with the snippets. All right, you can make all your houses the same. You can make them different. I just wanna see that you were cutting your paper using different shapes and then adding some details. All right, boys and girls, it's a great day to be creative, so Go make your snippet project and have a great day. Bye, boys and girls.